Good morning and welcome to Florida Day 8. So as you can see, we are docked from the Disney Wish at Port Canaveral. It is very early. It is 20 to 7. Our breakfast rotation, because we're on the early dining, is early. It's at 6.55, so it's been a very early start this morning. As we kind of mentioned in yesterday's vlog, um, the luggage needed to be outside the room by 10.30 for them to deliver that to the terminal for you we were not ready we were still shoving stuff in just five minutes ago so we've got all of our stuff to take with us so I'm sure you can leave it outside of the room for breakfast but that's fine this morning our breakfast is at World of Marvel which is where we ate last night so that's great because the theming in there is fantastic it is a more limited menu for breakfast obviously because it's debarkation day that means no eggs benedict for me but there is lots of other yummy stuff so we're not going to go hungry also as mentioned yesterday if for just timings of things if you've got ground transport booked we need to leave the ship at 8 15 no later than 8 15 for a 9 a.m bus pickup you're allocated a bus stop based on your resort but i'm guessing that they sort it there for you i think that's everything we need to know this morning except we're gutted that we're leaving the wish However, we're not going to stay sad for too long because we are off to Magic Kingdom today. My final breakfast of the cruise, I've gone for the ham and cheese omelette with a side of bacon and a hash brown. For our final meal on the Wish, my breakfast, I ordered the two eggs. I've gone for fries with some sausage, bacon and an English muffin. Oscar chose the buttermilk chocolate chip pancakes. We finally got on the Disney Cruise Line bus and look at the seats, they've got little Disney Cruise decor on them. So we had our last breakfast on the Disney Wish and we were at the World of Marvel. It was, oh, the theming in there is so good and the breakfast, it was a bit limited but it was actually really nice so I had something different. So we ate for the last time with our table mates. So we were sitting with Farah, Eden and Ben and honestly we couldn't have asked for better table mates and at first we were a little bit anxious at the thought of sitting with strangers for dinner but it was actually really nice and sharing stories life experiences obviously shared common interest with Disney so it was very nice so thank you all for your company over the cruise we really enjoyed it we then had a quick turnaround really to get off the ship because our cruise transportation back to the resorts is ready so when you get off the cruise it's um full on obviously through us customs again so passports and things required and now we're on the disney cruise transport heading hopefully shortly back to all star movies we need to check back in because we didn't obviously keep the reservation for the time that we were on the cruise um so we're checking back in who knows where we'll be put this time i think we've got another preferred room again so hopefully we'll be somewhere close and then we just probably just need to get ourselves in order and then we can head off to the magic kingdom gotta get the last look of that <laughs> beautiful ship so it's now 10 40 and we are just arrived back on Disney property. We've made a couple of stops, Boardwalk, Coronado Springs, and the All Stars, and we're just at All Star Music, so we're next, All Star Movies. We left luggage that we didn't want to take on the cruise, so we do have a bit of like shuffling that we need to do when we get back. So yes, we will be that family with our luggage fully open in the lobby, but we've put our magic band somewhere no idea where I put them 
So little things like that, which would be helpful if we're gonna head to the park. So excited. Oscar really wants to ride Splash and Big Thunder today. And because it was a free, it's a bonus day. So we don't really have any like concrete plans. So I think we'll just have a little meander around um, before we head over to Disney Springs later. We're in quite a lengthy queue for bell services. This is uh, half the queue. We've already done the other half behind us. Uh, but we've got a rather excessive amount of luggage again. <laughs> we've been stood in that queue for bell services for like 15 minutes or so. I didn't have any Wi-Fi, but as we got closer to the building connected 15 minutes ago, our room is ready. <laughs> So we are in the Toy Story area. This is 9 We're trying to find room 9732. You can play chess, honey. We stayed in Toy Story in 2019 and we love this area. It's so amazing to look at. It's 10 to 12 and we're just heading on the bus to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. So We've all just said that breakfast feels like a very long time ago, five hours ago now. So we're going to go and grab a snack first. But Oscar has got another job he wants to do today. Because he got the new Magic Bands Plus and he got the Orange Bird one. So he's A, keen to try the Orange Bird Dole Whip or Flow, whatever it is, and, and B, he wants to try and talk to the 50th golden statues with his new magic band so that'll be a fun thing to try. So yeah, hungry. So first stop in Magic Kingdom, snacks. Oh, <laughs> yay. We are back at the kingdom. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Oh, wow. oh look! Lovely welcome with the Main Street Philharmonic Brass Band. And for the first time forever. Pete's just figuring out how to get Oscar's Magic Band Plus to work with the gold statues. It looks like we have to pair it to a phone as well as activating it. Okay. Now that it's paired, when you get into close proximity with the statue, it'll start to vibrate. And then, Oscar, you need to wave your hand around. Oh, he's singing! Stand right in front. Oh, there you go. We've had mixed success with the Magic Band Plus. It feels a little bit temperamental, to be honest. You have to pair it, and therefore you have to stay quite close to a phone. Obviously, Oscar doesn't have a phone, so it's paired to Pete. So as soon as they've kind of walked away from each other, it's disconnected. And then, yeah, we struggle to get some to work, some work straight away. So, who knows? teething problems but um we'll keep trying them as we walk around the park <laughs> so heading into fantasy land so we can grab some snacks yeah we've got rumblies in our tumblies okay oscar had a pb and j sandwich meal with apple slices that was from fryer's nook and that was i think 6.79 
And then Pete and I have gone for the sriracha honey chicken waffle and we've got a funnel cake to share and I think those two were, oh, I'm gonna say like 20, $20-ish. Um, I, I did it in two separates. Now we are just a little bit disappointed with the portion size of that. We had more last time, didn't we? There was definitely two pieces of chicken last time. One. Well, we can share it. We've got the big funnel cake. Right, the portion, I already took a bite. It's actually big, like, it is enough to share. It's really spicy. Yeah, it has got a very nice kick to it. And then these crisps are really salty. I mean the chips. It is, despite what Pete wants to think, still a very good size sharing snack. After our February trip, I am a total convert to the funnel cake. It just tastes like fairground donut, it's delicious. What did we think of lunch? Good, good. It was I nice, mean, wasn't it? Yeah, I had the no customer please. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with that, can you? Cake. So we're heading round now for Splash Mountain. And I feel like we do need to cool off a little bit because it is hot. Yeah. I won't mind now if it gets so like um <laughs> river rapids. Yeah, I don't want to get Carly River Rapids soaked. That was unreal. <laughs> and then Oscar's decided because his new well, not necessarily new favourite character, but his favourite character at the moment is Orange Bird, hence yeah. the thing. He's gonna go around and get the orange bird zipper and try the orange dull whip, aren't you? Yep. So lots of exciting things. New oh, things. Wait, my thing went off. Bit of excitement there because Oscar's uh, magic band just went off. <laughs> yeah. I thought something bad had happened. <laughs> so yes, over to Splash. I got a spray in my face, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't that a big was splash. Lean back. Lean back in it. Like with your back against the back. It won't fall. The design not to fall. There you go. Let go of the table. That's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be for rocking. Leaning back in. Rocking away. Splash Mountain, always a good one. It's nice to cool off a little bit and we do enjoy the fact that the ride is so long. And then the boys are just playing a little game of draft. Draft, is it? Yeah. And there's a rocking chair here. I'm quite content. <laughs> so we're going to head for another first. Whilst we're on this side of the park, we're going to head to the Country Fair Jamboree. Oh, they're just up on top, waving to everyone. But yeah, this is uh, our first time doing this show. So we're intrigued to see what the fuss is all about. I personally think they look a little bit creepy. So I'm interested to know what like the story of this show is. Um, no, I've never seen anything about it. So. Well, that wasn't meant to be. It's actually currently closed at the moment for some, I'm guessing, technical difficulties. So instead we're going to carry on with our plans as they were. He's going to head round to Orange Bird Float to pick up Oscar his treat. And then probably keep going over to the other side of the park now. We do find that in this area there's not a huge amount to do. Like certainly over like by Splash and Thunder Mountain, so you kind of have to like come back. Otherwise you're just hovering around. So after Splash there is further cooling down required. So we're heading to Sunshine Tree Terrace. Oscar really does have a new favourite in the orange bird. So we're gonna head and pick up the sipper. And I think he wants to try the orange dull whip, maybe swirled with the vanilla. What do you think, honey? Do you think it's super cute? And what do you think about this? 
So this is the orange and the vanilla squirrel doll. So you got your orange bird zipper? You happy now? He didn't actually like the orange doll with or the vanilla one in particular, did you? He and I did though. The uh, orange doll whip tasted like orange sherbet, which was very nice. Very nice and refreshing and it has cooled down somewhat. It's supposed to be thunderstorming in an hour or so. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. But it has cooled right down, which is good. Oh, you gonna see? I wanna try it. You wanna try it? We're gonna try his magic bands again. We're still not having much luck with it, but we'll try in the other parks as well and see if we get better success. The Halloween details are perfect. So you've got the Mickey pumpkin head and then the pumpkin Cinderella carriages. What are we headed to next, Bubby? The lap floor. Do you think you might be lucky enough to get picked again? Maybe, maybe not. It's always a good one. Nice to hear the cheesy joke. The Monsters Inc. lap floor was very funny again. I think every time we've been, they've done like a different show. Like, so if you're worried that the jokes are the same or that it's the same experience, it's not. It's very different every time and very funny every time. Really like that one. So now we've got our return time for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So just gonna head over there now. It's like one of our favorites to do in Magic Kingdom. So, always glad when we get the chance to do it. Now it is a busy day today. Surprisingly busy considering it's a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party evening and it's a Monday. However, our table friends at breakfast this morning on the Wish advised us that it's a teacher training day, like around this area. So there's probably a lot of people having like a little inset day and therefore coming to the park, which is probably why it's so busy. Over to Seven Dwarfs. Hopefully we can finish riding it before this impending thunderstorm. Let's find out. We're gonna to head to Disney Springs and um, we think it's probably sensible to leave the park via the shops <laughs> so we're gonna do that um, and then it is expected to rain for the next two hours oh I feel that rain so um yeah I think we just need to um hurry up get our Ghirardelli get our place yeah so not be outside right now oh I'm not getting rain oh I'm getting rain we're just taking shelter from the rainstorm. There's literally river puddles running down the street. We're taking shelter from the rain in all of the shops. And uh, the sweet shop smells so good. And they're just making the Rice Krispie treats. It looks so cute. Oscar thinks it's an easy job. It's probably more difficult than it looks, honey. They have to be 
perfect, my love. And then whilst we were in the shop, Oscar absolutely fleeced us. Didn't you? <laughs> Ooh, on this side, there's some kind of chocolate making going on. Yum! Oh, everything looks delicious. Look at this. Perfect. We're at Disney Springs. So, when we last vlogged, we were at Magic Kingdom. We were sheltering from the storm. We headed into a couple of shops, picked up a couple of bits, and then it kind of eased off a bit. So the plan for dinner tonight was always to come to Disney Springs and have um, Blaze Pizza, of course. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> it's wet still and it's so slippy. <laughs> um, so we were thinking, do we go back to the hotel for a bit? And then we just thought, oh no, if we go back to the hotel, we're not going out again. So we walked over to the Contemporary <laughs> because you can't get a Disney Springs bus direct from Magic Kingdom. So we walked over to the Contemporary and picked up a Disney Springs bus from there. And here we are. So we want to make three stops if our stomachs will allow. We have had some cruise tummy stretching. So let's hope we're in good shape. Blaze Pizza, Gideon's, Ghirardelli Sunday, then we will be happy chappies. But as we just got off the um, bus, my glass is just totally steamed up um, because it is, I don't even know how to describe it now. It's not actually that humid now. It's actually just quite nice. It like, feels quite fresh. But when have we ever come to Blaze and not had to queue? We can't believe how quiet it actually is. Well, let's go to Blaze Peak. Imagine having like all of this. Like, like pesto sauce, white cream sauce, spicy red sauce, fresh butter, potato, salt, salt. Pepperoni. Like a magic. It's good that, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It's going to be your cheesy garlic bread, like that, honey. Oh. That one there. So we've gone for the white top and I have pesto drizzle on my half. Pete and I are going to like share this. Oscar wanted some cheesy bread and how cheesy and delicious does that look? And then the pepperoni. So we're just going to kind of share all of these things. Pete got a beer, I got a most delicious orangey Fanta. Oscar's got apple juice and the total was 43, 43? Something like that. It's like 43 and some change, I think. But we're very excited for our first Blaze Pizza of this trip. Yum, 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 yum. Sorry for the vagueness on the pricing. A lot of places now are giving receipts. So kind of trying to remember, it was 46.43 and um, we're pretty much nearly finished actually. So between the three of us, it was two full size pizza and a cheesy bread and that's been enough to share. And then a drink each for Pete and I and Oscar had some apple juice that we already had. Did you enjoy that? It's good. Have we got enough room for pudding? <laughs> that's okay, honey. And then we're just gonna have a little wander around Disney Springs, walk off some of this pizza before we dive into something else. And then we'll probably have an early-ish night because tomorrow is a very special day. This guy's birthday. Turning nine. So we're gonna be using Genie Plus for the first time. Yeah, Genie Plus for the first time is our intention. We are Death Pass users, um, as I explained at the start of this trip, but we just wanted to make the day extra special for Oscar, and I think having Genie Plus on top will really help the day flow a little bit better and get you through everything that you want to get done. Well, he's going to be sharing it with Pete, aren't you? With Daddy. This is the cookie crumb sundae. 
and it just looks like an absolute beast. It's huge. Mine has just arrived. It's the Ocean Beach, which has got all the sort of sea salt caramel flavors. Now, they brought us the wrong one. So on the receipt, we've been charged 33.66. I don't know what we should have been charged for the right one. I think it was less. I think it should have been less, but not to worry. But how good does that look? And Oscar's diving in there. Is that nice, Bubba? It's Sunday. It was everything I wanted it to be. It is just so good. It's really salty, so it's got the sea salt caramel. But actual salt crystals in it as well. How is your cookie? It's good. I, for some reason I have to taste of chocolate. today no how long roughly is the line 40 minutes now I know those cookies are good I could nail one right now but 40 minutes no 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 cookie is a 40 minute wait and Pete was actually gonna wait in the line obviously for me but no 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 we're not doing that so instead it is now half seven We've obviously been up very early for our Disney Wish debarkation. So we are going to head back to the room. We need to unpack for our second leg. Oh my God, look at this. How cute is that? That's super cute. But no, we do, we need to unpack for our second leg. And we're gonna have an early start tomorrow because it's a birthday celebration. It depends on what time I wake up. Yeah, it's completely driven by Oscar tomorrow. Oscar controls the day, obviously, for his birthday. So we're back in the room and just unpacking now. It's um, quarter to nine and, oh, excuse me. It's quarter to nine and we are quite clearly very tired. It's been a long day and, um, I can't believe how much we've like crammed into it actually like getting off the wish getting back to Disney then Magic Kingdom Disney Springs like that is a full-on day by anybody's stretch really isn't it so we're just gonna finish our unpacking <laughs> what, is going what is going on we're gonna finish our unpacking now ready for an early start tomorrow now if you have watched our dining reservation vlog you'll see that we were not successful with getting Hollywood and Vine character buffet breakfast on Oscar's birthday which is the one we really really wanted because we wanted to be in the park early, Oscar loves a buffet breakfast. He's a bit old now for those particular characters but he still enjoys meeting them. However whilst we were at Disney Springs over dinner 
had a look on the app and one has popped up so again that sort of 24 hours beforehand do keep checking the app because we have been very lucky on this trip with Tusker House, Ohana Breakfast and now Hollywood and Vine so that's pretty much everything that we wanted and couldn't get so we're really happy with that so if you have enjoyed this video then do give us a big thumbs up and a subscribe is always appreciated and join us for our next Disney vlog Hollywood Studios Oscar's birthday Hollywood and Vine character breakfast Mama Melrose dinner and loads of fun in the middle of that so thank you and we'll see you again soon bye bye